you, Miss Toastmaster. So think back to when you were a kid, like uh, 10, 11, 12 years old. Was there something that you wanted to do, something you loved so much that you just knew that's what you were going to do when you grew up? I know, I know Tim knew he was going to be a world-class speaker. And uh, I know Ken just wanted to blow things up when he got older. Uh, but for me, it was football. I loved football. I slept with a football. I knew I was going to be a football player when I grew up. I didn't turn out to be a football player. But um, I remember my the first game I played in, I was in fifth grade. And uh, one of the guys in the sixth grade team wasn't going to be able to play that week on our grade school team. And I got picked to take his place. I was so thrilled. I was so excited. I was going to play my first game. I was so excited that I couldn't even sleep that week. I don't know if you ever felt like that. You're too excited to sleep. So the game came on Saturday morning, and beautiful day. Sun was shining. Uh, it was in the 50s, perfect day for football. So we got into the game, and it was the second quarter. The score was tied 66. We have the ball fourth down on our point six yard line. Fourth and goal. So what are we going to do? Our, uh, our quarterback, Brian Bowerman, is a little wirely, bow-legged kid. He calls timeout, runs over to the sidelines to talk to the coach about what we're going to do in fourth down. So we're all in the huddle anticipating what we're going to do, what miracle play we're going to come with, up with on fourth and six. So Brian comes running back to the huddle. We're all bent over, and Brian looks at me, points at me, and says, you're going to score a touchdown. Thinking, wow, this, this is my big moment in the sun. I'm going to be the football hero. So thrilled. So the play was a sweep right. So Brian got under, under the center, took the snap, turned, pitched the ball to me. It was a sweep. Everybody's rolling to the right. And I'm following my blockers, just like I've seen on TV hundreds of times. And what the coach tells you as a runner, you follow your blockers. So I'm following my blockers. I still remember this like it was yesterday. The sun's up here. I can feel that lush, manicured grass under my cleats. I've got the ball in my right hand. I'm running. And then the next thing I know, I, I hear a whistle. And I'm thinking, wait, I'm, I'm not even in the end zone yet. How could there be a whistle? And I stop, and I look down. I was out of bounds at the two-yard line. And I'm thinking to myself, what happened? How could this, what happened? So what happened was, I, I took my eye off the goal, and I didn't follow through the end zone. And I, I, think, I think about that story a lot. And still still haunts me to this day. So follow through. Coaches always tell you it's worth to follow through. It doesn't matter whether it's golf or, or tennis, you always follow through. But what if uh, somebody tells you they're going to do something and they, and they don't they, they don't follow through? Or uh, if you take on a project and you get started and you're full of, of energy and, and you get started and about halfway through you start you start losing some steam, you hit some roadblocks and you kind of start losing that enthusiasm, and you finally just say, well, I think I want to go on to something else. Has that ever happened to you? <laughs> Give up on a project, like joining Toastmasters? So, what, follow, following through is one of the most difficult tasks a person to face. It's especially difficult when you're trying to do something for yourself. So how do you overcome that, following through on your goals? So tonight you're gonna to learn three techniques to following through your goals, three techniques. The first technique is you have to decide if it's something that you really want to do. Not just want to do, but you really want to do. There are things you want to do and there's things you really want to do. So if you, if you say to yourself, I think I'm going to go work out, and then you don't follow through, you have to ask yourself what happened. And a lot of times it may be it was something that you're doing because your friend wants to do it, and it wasn't that inner motivation, that deep inner motivation that made you want to do that. So you have to ask yourself, be honest with yourself, if this is something that you, that you really want to do. The second thing is you have to wash aside fear. You may start on a project. For example, maybe, you, again, you maybe you want to start working out. And you start thinking to yourself, well, what if I'm going to look silly? Or maybe you want to give a speech, and you're going to think, what if I don't? I, what if I look like I don't know what I'm doing? That inner motivation has to be stronger than that fear to actually make you follow through. It's got to be stronger than that fear. 
and an important, a very good technique in, in hitting and achieving any kind of goal successfully is to actually visualize, picture, picture yourself succeeding in that goal. Visualization is a very powerful technique to achieving any kind of goal. So you want to make sure it's something that you really want. You wash aside fear. And the third thing is you got to schedule it, just like you would a doctor's appointment. But that first step in actually writing something down or putting it in your phone in your calendar is the first physical step to give you the momentum to actually follow through on your goal. So you want to make sure it's something you really want, that you wash away fear, and that you schedule it. And consider the benefits of following through. The first would be integrity. You doing what you say you'll do is a matter of integrity. You don't feel good about yourself if you if you don't do what you say you're going to do. Trust. You don't trust people who don't do what they say they're going to do, and you don't want to spend time with those people. And the third thing is respect. You, you just don't have respect <coughs> for people whose whose word doesn't mean anything to them. If you, you need to do what you say you're going to do, and 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 when say yes when you mean yes, and no when you mean no. So, to make sure you bulletproof yourself to following through on your goals, you want to, you want to make sure it's something you really want. You want to make sure you wash away any fear, and the third thing is scheduling. So make sure you to make sure you follow through on your goals, and you want to use those techniques, use those techniques to follow through on your goals, and then you will end up 